Hello everybody, my name is Anton, welcome back to Let's Play in Early Reich. Let's continue on. So last time we, uh, the Coalition War kind of screwed us over. Quite badly, actually. It wasn't very good. We can get an alliance with Hungary. Be one over our Diplo relationship slot, but I think we're fine there. Even though we're getting two Diplo points per month. It's not, it's, I mean, it could be worse, right? This should expire. I think it's 71. I think it's 71 in um, June. Uh, where's this say? Wurmberg. October of 71. This should be when this actually is finished. If you want to re-attack Nuremberg, I don't. I mean, we, we, we could. Oh, no, we don't have a... We have planes. We don't have cores. So it's not a reconquest. If it was a reconquest, then maybe. But since it's not, I, if we just got that core finished, it would have been so much better for us. Are they rivaling each other now? I don't know. I thought Austria rivaled Asturia, which I would do. I mean, they have Tyrol, which is a good province. We have a claim here. So you want to like take Ty? If we attack Wurmburg, they're gonna call in Styria. Oh, wait, no, Wurmberg is going to call in Alsace. Ulm is going to call in Styria. So that's a separate war entirely. Really? Is Ulm... T is Ulm fighting for you too? Are you... Ulm just took both of our cores. Which is fine, I guess. It's one less war. But really, Ulm just took both of our cores. They saw their opportunity, and they took it. I think we should probably come Protestant. At some point in the future. I really wish Venice would ally us. They don't like us very much. Oh, because we're allied to Hungary. I'll break an alliance with Hungary, maybe. I don't know if Venice would be better for us, though. Hungary should join us against, like, Styria and stuff. Like, if we declared a war on Styria, would Hungary join us? It's probably going to be like, no, because of breaking truce. Oh, because of your stupid amounts of debt. Okay. Well, that's good. Bohemia is taking back their stuff from Austria. Yeah, that's good. Good for, good for you, Bohemia. Good for you. Oh, but now, now this doesn't matter. Now we don't need to be on speed 5. Because... Um, we were going to attack Wurmburg, but now we can't attack Wurmburg. Because they're just going to be annexed completely by Ulm. Whenever the siege is done. I, I hate you, Ulm. Ulm, I hate you. You're the worst. And we have to wait to what, 77, I think? Until, yeah, 77. We can attack Austria in 72. Which you might want to... Actually, let's fabricate claims in, um... Let's fabricate claims in Austria. Austria would probably be an easier target, thinking about it, than basically anybody else, too. Just see if, um, Bohemia, like, wrecks them a bit. So in 72, we'll attack Austria. Because it's probably necessary. These two guys won't vote for us. I think it's because we're too small now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, why did you put... Why, you, why are you not there anymore? I don't care. As long as you don't go back and siege that by September? No, October. Do you think... Is it going to take them really a year to fight this? I doubt it. They're probably just going to go back and start occupying it soon. They've elected Austria. No one's surprised. If we can just wait until September or October, then we can attack. Um, we have a CB expiring and Austria. Diplomatic insult. We can actually... Oh, no. We have a truce. Never mind. They're actually going to go siege Alsace. Surprising. Oh, uh, if they're going to leave, if they're going to leave, you can just attack Wurmberg right now. Well, not right now, but... I like how the animation doesn't really play when they're walking on speed 5. Whether or not that's just because of my computer speed, which is probably the case. Getting our stuff. Okay. One October. Actually, it's, a, it's actually December. I'm pretty sure it's actually when it, ex when it is. Because it's like on a month delay or something for some reason. 
became you know long since a rival. Now it's Austria. You got conquest on um. You actually lost the war. That is uh, Austria does have a twenty two stack. Okay, never mind that war against Austria. That's not happening. But you know this war against Wurmberg. In, in a few days. Yeah, this war against Wurmberg is looking fantastic. Cologne will join us. Oh, we don't have a general. Put our king in charge. Did also actually just not join the war on, um, honor mill? Did they actually just break alliance? That is amazing. That basically means at least we got one of our cores back. Oh, of course. Of course peasants would rise up. At that exact moment. I'm fine with you attacking me. Like that? Yeah, there you go. One war score. We'll just do this and attack you. I don't think anybody's going to attack us. I don't know if anybody has planes in our territory. Well, Austria does. But we have truce, right? Austria, we're friends. Please don't attack me. I have Hungary on my side. That, that's something. They have 9,000 9, men. But I think it's France. France is our... Uh... Well, Austria won't attack us, I'm pretty sure, because of France. If I attacked Austria, would France have... Would France join? Would be called in multiple wars. Yeah, okay, well, they would join, actually, if we, if we weren't attacking Wurmberg right now. But I think we really need to break Austria. Like, I mean, it has to happen. I mean, we already tried breaking the Wisteria, but... That didn't work out too well. Why are you at minus? Why do you hate us so much? Felicians, large nations, and culture group alliance. Diplo rep. Do we have a diplo rep guy? We have, dip, we have better relations, but I don't think we have a diplo rep guy. Yeah, we're just going to. It should be a pretty easy war. Declare war. Would we'll be called multiple wars. France's truce. Okay, well, I mean, the truce makes sense. So it's seven percent. Do you have? Are you have siege value? I don't remember. Oh, you actually do have siege value. So might as well put you here. Get that siege done a little bit faster. Take that, Ulm. And I, now you're not going to be able to take this guy. That was, that was just... Getting Constance back was really just pure luck. Everything we did there was basically luck. It's just lucky that, you know, Ulm left and allowed us to siege this province down. It's going to be sieged. It's going to get 100%. There we go. And I think there's still going to be a war with Alsace, too, so... And if we take this province, it's 2.4... You know, aggressive expansion, just for taking back our cores. And it's still minus... How is it still minus 24 with people to take back our core? That is absurd. I, I, I would say that is absurd. We don't get nationalism. I think because it's Bavaria and 2 because we have a core already on it. If a coalition forms against us right now, I'm going to be... I'm going to be a little bit upset. But I don't think it will. Yeah, minus 24, minus 31. We can't take anything else. That, that's absolutely certain. That, that, that just can't happen. I would love to take back our other core, though. How did, um... We took these two before without getting a coalition. We're making 0.09 ducats. We're not making a lot. Maybe we need to disband our, uh... Man mainly my... Yeah, let's get rid of you. Just get a little bit more money. We got our diplomats. What can we do? France loves us. Our two guys here like us. Not enough to vote for us, but... Everyone else just kind of hates us. Just 
just try and improve relations with electors, I guess. Probably, like, we could just try... What we could try doing, actually, is trying to push far enough to, like, to see. Like, get over here to, like, Fluli. And just a attack outside of the HRE. Like, get to Venice and just, like, attack Naples or something. Because Naples is not within the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, it's... Actually, it's not part of Aragon right now, so... It would work. Because we'll get, like, half the aggressive expansion. We won't have Imperial Ban. And it'll still make us stronger. Right? Like, that... Does that, does that make sense? But would it make... We'd have, we have to take three provinces. We'd have to expand slowly to... Basically, we have to expand in the opposite direction of where we'd want to expand. Recruitment time minus... I mean, to get more legitimacy... Well, we're still 60 years ahead of time, so... I'm pretty sure you just can't... Uh... You can't remove kings, right? Oh, you can actually... Oh, no, he's not the king. The, the two zeros is the king. You cannot remove the king. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think if he's actually in charge of an army, he's actually more likely to die, so we're putting no leader on this army for now. How fast does the aggressive expansion take down? It's minus 29. Like, with you... Yeah. And that takes down at three a year. So it's gonna take ten years to get down to zero. Which would mean that we could attack Onsbach and get our other core back. Let's just look back at the em Empire. The Emperorship. Where could we go? I think Venice. If we, I think if we even attack like Venice to take these, it's still considered an Imperial unlawful territory. Which doesn't make sense. But it does. That's just how it works. We can be taking Venice, it's 10 base tax. We just don't have any access to the sea right now. We could try vassalizing like... Siena? No. We could try vassalizing like... Avignon. No, but we can't annex them actually until um... You'd have the ability to court normally, so that wouldn't work. But you can court next to vassals, so we can like do that and then attack Provence. Like this, does that, does that make sense? Like attack this guy, vassalize, and then annex Provence, which would allow us to court it. But then there's no way if you can get over there without taking like a minus three penalty for for no, it's minus two. As well, I think, base, just base aggressive expansion. So, like, that wouldn't work at all either. Just keep going with this very, very slow aggression expansion? Maybe? We just need our cores back. Still a few years until we can do anything here. We could attack Austria. That is a possibility. And France would join. Who's Austria allied to? Brandenburg. Oh, they're allied to like. Of course, they're allied to a bunch of electors. Why? Why wouldn't they be? Gain twenty. Yeah, we'll gain twenty army tradition. Let us get better rulers in the future. It's taking down at two per month or two per year. It'd be bad if it was two per month. It'd be almost impossible to keep it up if that was the case. If you weren't allied to Styria, this would be a lot easier. How many troops does Styria actually even have? I actually don't know. They have 23,000 men. Okay, well, never mind. That's, uh... That's a little bit threatening. Just a little bit. That's a teeny tiny bit threatening. Who could I attack right now? Augsburg, we have a truce, I'm assuming. So 77. Who was it in that coalition? Is there anybody here who was? Like, Baden, I don't think it was because they were our ally. 
So we could turn our back on our ally and attack him. Would that make sense? Probably not. Does, um... Does releasing vassals reduce aggressive expansion? Like, I don't know. Is, is it, That's my problem. It's like, I don't know. If it did, I could work that into my, my play somehow. Like, release... Release Wurtenberg. And then feed him, like, Baden. No, but that, that would still give me aggressive expansion, too, so... Yeah, they hate us. And they want cause dance. Austria right now is at war. With Crimea, Theodora. They are at war, so we could, like, take provinces. Who's made any even ally to? Augsburg, Bavaria. I don't ally to anybody important. That I can tell, anyways. And people, people were saying, like, you know, taking vassals is bad. But if we take vassals instead of taking land, we can't get imperial, we can't get unlawful territory. And we still get the same amount of grass expansion. But we get a grass expansion, I guess, on the pretty people we vassalize, and then that would just... It'd be hard to get them up to 200. Like, even this guy, we have 100 positive and we have a ton of negatives. Like, they're not, they're not, they're not too thrilled about a lot of things right now. I would love to take this core. We, we could. I think we could take Ansbach when the, when, when it's, when the truce is finished in a few years. With Hungary, and I'm pretty sure France would join. We could take Styria and Ansbach. The aggressive expansion is already starting to take down. It's already at t minus 23. Cologne is getting actually ruined by uh, a bunch of people right now. Oh, we have no active cardinals. Okay. How come you don't... Why won't you vote for us? We can increase trust somehow. They prefer Austria, who has high relations. They're a large nation. Imperial authority. Same culture group. Legitimacy. Is our legitimacy bad? It's like, it could be better. So that kind of makes sense. But I do think this is probably a good time to end the episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Nance. Maybe you haven't enjoyed it. Remember to thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.